Hey everyone, welcome to another writing video. My name's Alyssa and this is my channel, She Wish She Writes Books. I have written a couple more, couple more poems today for NaNoWriMo and I am working on a poetry collection, but I thought I would share a couple of the poems and some of them are shorter, some of them are longer, and the whole, <coughs> sorry, the whole entire feel of this whole collection is just kind of finding yourself in dark times or um, trying to escape those dark times and realizing that maybe you can't really escape. Um, and then I have thrown a couple of poems in there inspired by the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. Um, I've already written one or two poems, so this would be poems three and four. Um, so I have about four poems inspired by that series because I love it so much. But I'm just going to go ahead and share a couple of poems for this NaNoWriMo video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this first one is called A Liar's Tongue and here we go. It, it's like literally a, a small paragraph. A liar's tongue is twisted, unable to speak the truth. In times of trouble, they dig deeper into their trin trenches, with the lies from yesterday carrying on to today. Darkness clouds their minds for the truth that will set them free. It's the light that they cannot find. And that's probably one of my favorite poems, and I even had to ask my dad to read it because I wasn't sure in the time of writing it if it made sense. And sometimes when I do write poems, I don't know if they're making any sense. It's just something that I'm wanting to write. Um, so there's that one. I'm trying to think of another one that I like that I can share. Okay, so this one I'm still kind of unsure of, so let me know in the comments down below if you like it or not, but I called it You Give Me Air, and it's also like a tad, like a sentence longer than the last one. My lungs are squeezed by the last words that you breathed. I prayed that you would stay, but in my heart I knew that you were already gone. I want to stay and live on for as long as I can, to remember everything you taught me, to live in your name forever as you take your last breaths in my arms and close your eyes, leaving me alone in the world, but, I am ne but I'm never truly alone. So what else? Whoops. Okay, I'm going to do one more poem. And this one I also loved, or, no, I'm just going to save that for when I decide to publish this, because I am wanting to share my poems from the summer and as well as from the fall. All of 2019 poems, I'm thinking that maybe, um, like, each year whenever I write a certain amount of collections, because I know this is something that I'm going to continue to try and do and it's a lot easier than writing novels and frankly right now it's just kind of helping me to generate those creative juices kind of. So this third one is called The Rose Left on My Doorstep. The rose was left on my doorstep after you died, tears falling down my face as I opened the door and retrieving it, seeing that it came with the letter. I've worn nothing but black and have gone down a dark path, but the single rose with the last love letter you wrote brought warmth to my heart and light to my mind. Whenever the rose died, I replaced it so that you were always with me, and I kept the letter, the letter with my with me in my journal, wherever I went. Just because you are gone doesn't mean that you're truly gone. 
You will always live on in my heart, even long after I died. So that is all I'm going to be sharing today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the poems down below because I'm still kind of unsure. And if you know how to edit poems, please give me some advice on editing poems because I have no idea and I've tried finding um, some videos but I haven't been able to like find ones on specifically editing poems and you know, revising poems. So please let me know in the comments down below how you revise and edit your poems. That would be helpful because I want to make sure that they're good for publication once I'm all done because I have gone back through a couple, like, when I'm ready to write another poem, I will go back through the last one that I wrote, kind of gain some inspiration and so that I can keep with the feel of the, of the whole collection. Um, cause it is kind of dark and there are kind of two short stories at the beginning of it and those will stay in that, in this collection. I am thinking of self-publishing this and just kind of seeing where it goes. Um, so let me know if you would be interested in reading it. Um, yeah, I just want to work on my poetry because I'm always enjoyed writing it. I'm only now starting to read more poetry. If you have any favorite poets, please let me know. I know the one that got me into poetry is actually my friend Juliana May because I watch her poetry videos as well as I've read- I have most of her books on my Kindle and I, I have two of her uh, books physically, and she did kind of get me back into poetry, um, yeah, so let me know if you'd be interested in me putting out a paperback collection of the poems from the summer and the poems from the fall, because that is how it's going to be split up. And it will have kind of an overall dark feel to it because for me, I just like writing dark and depressing stuff, apparently. Um, and my family kind of makes, like, in my family, I'm known to, and my friends, I'm known to just write really dark and depressing stuff without a happy ending. Um, yeah. So, with that said... Oh, also, there's kind of, some of them are actually songs, um, or in the form, like, in my head, I wrote, I was singing it, but on the page, it still looks like a poem, so I know that some of them are songs, which is why they're, like, a page long, or a page or two long, but with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are doing well. It is day 10 of NaNoWriMo, and I'm probably going to try and write a couple more poems. I've been wanting to take a nap, but I'm not going to because I already did that when I got home from everything I had to do this morning. Um, oh! I got the job at Walmart, by the way. I got my badge and my vest and this is like my first official job so i'm excited about that too wanted to document it on film i got that anyways thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave all of the like the suggestions suggestions that i ask asked for down below because i would love to know um and i'll see you in the next video maybe tomorrow maybe not i don't know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.